Dear students, now physics space maker is coming up with a new innovative idea of teaching to make the students to visualize the things clearly. So now let us focus on energy conversion. Here let me give you an idea about what are all the energies available and the symbols. Mechanical energy with silver color, electrical energy with blue color, thermal energy with red color, light energy with yellow color and chemical energy with green color. Suppose if you observe clearly here, the initial energy available here is this fellow, the person, assume yourself. You are having energy in your body and that energy is chemical energy. Suppose if you start pedaling, what is happening? See here, you are spending your chemical energy on pedaling this wheel of the cycle and this is mechanical energy. It is converted into electrical with the generator and this electrical energy in heater, it is converting into the thermal energy. So what is the first kind of the conversion here? You can observe the first kind of the conversion is here chemical to here chemical to mechanical right and here in generator mechanical energy to electrical energy here in this heater electrical energy to thermal energy yes so how many kinds of the energy conversions are there first conversion chemical to mechanical and second conversion mechanical to electrical and third conversion electrical to thermal so energy neither be created nor be destroyed but it can be transformed or converted from one form to another form this is called law of conservation of energy law of conservation of energy and according to this energy neither be created nor be destroyed but can be transformed from one form to another form Suppose, if you want me to reset the things again and energy labels are available, instead of pedaling, if I take water system, right? Now, observe clearly here, I am just opening the water and what is energy available here? Initially, this is mechanical energy. That kinetic energy is nothing but mechanical energy. It is converted into here in generator, mechanical to electrical, here in, ele in heater, electrical to thermal. Again, energy conversion. Yes, this is what happened in the hydropower plants in Sri Shailam, Nagarjun Sagar and all those power stations, hydropower stations, they are generating electricity up to here. Instead of this one here, you can give your bulb and here bulb is converting this electrical energy into light energy, light energy symbol you see here, E, finally. And inside that filament, there some amount of heat energy will also come. So these bulbs will generate or convert electrical energy into both thermal energy and light energy. And to avoid that loss, heat loss, I can choose CFL. Now observe the CFL. CFL will convert electrical energy into light energy. There is no much loss in the heat. That is why CFL bulbs are advantageous than normal red bulbs. And now if I take fan. Here fan is a device or two terminal device or three terminal device which can convert electrical energy into mechanical energy see the beauty of the nature here the initial energy available is the mechanical and final energy is the mechanical but the comforts are different and this is a revolution in the engineering and technology science and technology because of this innovation and development in the technology we are enjoying our comforts and one more modern technology innovation let me show you this one let me reset the things first and give you the energy labels again as usual and let me take the sun the abundant amount of energy available at free of cost this sun energy sun is giving you at earth surface level most of the energy is light energy some amount of heat is also coming but we are not considering that one for this conversion suppose if you take here solar plate because again instead of solar plate if you observe here this turbine it is unable to convert that light energy yes generators are unable to take that light energy and convert into electrical energy that is why this system won't work if i take the solar energy for that one the solar plate is a innovation a beautiful innovation which can convert light energy into electrical energy and this electrical energy at heater it will convert electrical to thermal Again, same process, but here you may get doubt. Suppose if there are any clouds, see here, 
if any clouds are there the amount of energy available to the solar panel is less that is why in rainy season rainy season this solar panel won't work out so rainy season what should we use we should use this hydro power station where we get the amount of water in rainy season so with the help of this one we can convert it or we can generate electric power and let me take last one the system input system is the here you can guess what we get here steam suppose if you switch on steam if you switch on heat and this heat is generated with the help of the coal singer any power plant thermal power plant NTP is a national thermal power corporation so all these thermal power stations are generating steam and with the help of that steam this is converted this is rotating and that is again the same scenario if you use heater you can use bulb you can use CFL you can use your favorite comfort device that is fan so this is conventional generation of electricity and this is seasonal generation of electricity seasonal only only rainy season we will get more and this is mostly it is available out of 12 months it is available nearly 8 to 9 months and this is also abundant energy that is why solar plants are becoming more popular nowadays and this one this is old and at the research and development time in 18th or 19th century scientists tried in this way initially so by rotation how can we generate electricity they tried and they made a formula and finally they went to the industrialization this is not for industrial purpose not for commercial purpose okay at basic level it is possible you can switch on your torch light and that amount of that amount of power is possible with these things right i hope you have enjoyed your energy conversion session thank you